do you guys think? Any better? So, now I've made my coffee, it's time to tackle some dents on them on there. Right, bought myself a dent repair kit, which consists of a glue gun, some glue sticks, and two sort of dent pulling devices, and two packs of uh, I don't know, tabs if you like, glue tabs to glue to and then you attach it to the end and pull. One of these pullers which I've had before which are completely useless unless it's a sort of a, a large size dent um, uh, but on a small tight dent they're completely useless. A scraper to get your glue off. So I spent in total about £25 on eBay, let's see if it any it's any good. So I'm gonna attempt this dent here. I don't know if you can see it. That one there, and these two dents here. You can see. I don't know how well they show up on camera, but you can see one, one there one there so three dents in total let's see if I can DIY it or should I get the pros in so I want to try and match the pull tab size with the size of the dent that would be too big that's kind of getting there but let's try small first let's try this size try and get in that crease there so I'm gonna go with this size first so it seems to have warmed up A firm push on. It's taken already. Just give it a little bit longer. Okay, so we'll try this one first. So it slots into that groove there. I think so. And you squeeze the grip and twist it up. Okay, so that's come off. It's clearly pulled it off. Like you can actually reuse it as well. And I can still see it. I think this kind of dent will need to be take the door card off and tap from behind but 
we can give it another try. Not really made any difference. Let's try leaving the glue on a little bit longer. So we've gone for two sizes, the smallest size that I have and a slightly bigger size for that one and the smallest size to try and get into that dent there. So let's put some glue on and see if this will work. So while those other two are drying, I'm going to try this um, like a puller, see whether it can be a little bit more forceful than the other one. So let's give it a shot. Well, I've certainly pulled it off, but has it pulled the dent? I doubt it. I think it's barely moving the metal. Maybe try and heat the metal up without spoiling your paintwork. Let's try one more time with a bigger pad. Okay, this is the largest one that I have. So let's see. Obviously going to take extra glue because it's bigger, so whether that has any uh, extra purchase on extra grip for pulling, we'll see. That dry and have a go at the front ones. Front are dry, it's quite solid. Let's have a go with this one. I think the other one might be better. Let's see. No, I think the other the other one would work better. Moment of truth. Oh, stuck solid. That went. I like how you can keep reusing these, but then again, if it's not working, what's the point? Let's try this other one. Try and knock the camera off as I'm doing it as well. You guys are in the way. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah. Knock you over. I don't think there's any difference in that. That's not done anything. I think there needs to be pushed or a hole drilled in it and then pulled out and then filled. Um, I think the too tight of creases for this type of repair to work. Um, although that one's worked a lot better. That's just a very tight crease. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with that one. That's a lot better. And if I do it again, 
can probably get even better. So let's try the two small ones. So let that dry and then I'll have a go at the other one. That one's solid. You can actually see it pulling in the metal, so let's try it. Definitely pulling the metals. Let's try the other one. This is well and truly on this one. Great that they give you. It's better. I think it's trial and error, you know. Keep on trying. That is definitely better than it was. There's still a crease, a tight crease, but it's definitely better. It's back to the front, it should have set now. Let's have another go with this. One. I think this top one needs the light to come out and take it, push it from the inside. It's just too tight a dent for this. Although it seems a little bit shallower, I think I've got this one here though. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. So I'm going to apply some of my trusty Colourfast Tea Cut just to uh, clean it up a bit. Not going to do the whole lot, I'll do that another time. And what I'll do is probably have another go with it because they are quite sort of tight dense, but I think it's definitely an improvement. What do you think, guys? Let's, let's see if I'll pull it polish it up okay this is only a quick job for the video but I'll just take you off have a look what do you think you can definitely see it there but is it as bad as before and if I persevere with it I might just get that out you know That is, that's quite a tight one there, but it's an improvement. So guys, while I finish my coffee, I'll rate this kit, and it's actually two kits. The um, slide hammer, this one, that was eight pounds on its own, and the rest of it, uh, well, eight pounds plus a pack. So basically, I'll put it up in the screen, but that is one set. 
and the all, everything else you see there is a second set. And I just realized there's two types of glue strips. There's a black one and a clear one. And apparently the black one is an even stronger adhesive. So I might try that next. Uh, and I think with perseverance, I may be able to get the dents out completely, but on first try, I think it's an improvement if you look back from the beginning to the end. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. But uh, I think with perseverance, I'll get there. And for the sake of what, just over 20, 20 pounds? Um, you know, what would a specialist cost me? 100, 150, 200? All right, you could argue they'll do a better job, but with perseverance, I might be able to get the uh, end result that I'm looking for. So yeah, at this finally, I've got an eBay purchase that's actually worth buying. And uh, I'll put it up in the, on the screen where I purchased them from down in the description. And yeah, I, I can recommend it. It's pretty good. It seems to be uh, pretty good quality. Uh, you can get kits where it comes in a box. This is my own box. It's just a box file that I keep the bits together in. Um, but some of them do come in their own bag. Um, it's up to you. But yeah. Uh, give this one a thumbs up guys